Hello everybody, today we're installing our GTA car kit into a 2006 Lexus IS and uh, we're gonna start off with what tools you'll need. Uh, you'll need a, a 10 millimeter socket with an extension. You'll need a clip removal tool or you can use a flathead screwdriver. You also need a Phillips screwdriver and you'll need a thin hook or a kind of panel tool. So we'll start off with uh, gonna use hands as much as possible so we don't scratch it even though the scar is already all scratched up. The scar is a manual if you have an automatic you're gonna have to unscrew the shift knob usually counterclockwise and then the panel will come up. This is a manual so you have to unhook the leather the shift boot and it's gonna come out. We'll start off with this part. Uh, we're gonna use our hands. Can't use our hands. <laughs> um, we're gonna use our clip removal tool. Get underneath and pop it up. This panel you don't have to uh, remove, you just have to put it to the side in order to get this one out. And uh, that's what we're gonna do next. Gonna just lift it up. Make sure you don't scratch it. Lift it up like that. And the shift boot going up. Just like that. Put it to the side. This one you can put down for now because it's not really in the way of anything else. We're gonna use our Phillips. Uh, screwdriver and uh, undo these two bolts uh, the next step is to take this thing out and there's these two th uh, kind of uh, clips, they're not really clips but two guides that you have to pull it towards you and there's a connection on the back here for the cigarette lighter you know, just take it out and this one I'm also going to put to the side so now uh, you're going to see these uh, two bolts this one right here and this and this one so that's the ones you have to remove but first we're gonna there's four bolts holding this radio so two on the bottom and there's two on top uh, so the two on top uh, we have to there's uh, four uh, one one two three four kind of clips and you have to cl they're the ones holding it on top and you have to take our uh, kind of uh, clip removal tool and lock them down just like that if you don't lock them down you're gonna most likely break something we're gonna get our tool underneath here and it comes off so when you're gonna be putting it back uh, so this is these are the ones that we uh, push down so originally they're like this and we just put them down from uh, the inside so when you're putting it back undo all four of them One, two, three, four. and uh, then you can put it back uh, once you start putting everything back once you install the kit so the next step is to remove this two connections on the bottom Go around, and there's one left here. Just like that. Now we can put it to the side. And so now you're gonna see the two bolts, the other two bolts, and uh, we're gonna go ahead now and remove all four. So we just removed the uh, four bolts, two on the bottom, two on top. They're the 10 millimeter uh, bolts. And uh, now the radio is going to simply slide out and uh, to 
kind of maneuver it here. Uh, so this is the connection, the bag that we're going to be using, the second one. Uh, we're going to undo it right now. This is where our GTA car kit is going to go. And uh, we already assembled it. Uh, so on one side you have the splitter cable. Uh, so on, on one side the GTA car kit plugs into, on the other side the socket that we just took out and then it all together goes to the back of the radio. Just like that. And then we're gonna put in our splitter cable inside. Make sure it clicks and the connections are good. So, and on the other side you have the, in the, mo in the, mid in the middle you have the module and you have the cable for the iPod and also there is an auxiliary out uh, and our kit comes with auxiliary cable but we're not putting it in because this car has an auxiliary in the armrest but if you decide to use it you can run it but this car for this car it's not necessary and so we're gonna just put it back and test, test it for now Make sure you test everything before you put everything back and uh, make sure the car is off. And we're gonna turn it uh, to the... You can turn it to the first position, you can turn it here. Uh, we're gonna start from FM mode. It's a regular FM mode and to get to the our GTA car kit mode, you have to press the disc button. If you have the CD inside, you would have to press it twice. Your CD will still work the same way it used to. And if you have the CD changer inside here, it will still work. And we're gonna press it because there's no CD inside. You're just gonna have to press it once. And as you can see, it says CD1, disc four, track eight. And that's normal. And it's gonna change as soon as you plug in your iPhone. So this is our iPhone four. Uh, when the radio is on, it's going to charge the iPhone 4. And uh, we're going to start off with uh, disc 1. That's our hybrid mode. In this mode, you can uh, control the radio, and I mean the iPod, both from the radio and from the iPod itself. So, let's find some song. So basically it's open right now, you can switch the songs from here. You can also s switch the songs from the radio. You can also switch the songs from the steering wheel controls. As you can see it's, it's switching. The other neat feature that we have with our kit is that you can, can see the text but that's in the playlist mode so in disc one that's the hybrid mode as soon as you go disc one and up so disc two is our first playlist disc three is our second so we're gonna go to our fifth playlist which is disc six and uh, in this mode in the playlist mode the uh, iPod gets locked and you fully control it through the radio and that's when you can see the text so if you press the text button it's gonna it's gonna say the song name and uh, for all of them so if you leave it in the song name as you can see it's showing the song names even if it's locked the iPod is locked you can still use your iPhone all the other uh, uh, features of the iPhone work it's just the iPod is locked because you're controlling through there also the steering wheel controls work make sure the song is in English in order for the proper name to show and that's uh, pretty much it about it uh, so it's fully controllable make sure everything plays through all the speakers and uh, Next step is to run the cable. So we're gonna turn off the radio. You can, you have many options in, in this car. 
you can run it to to the glove box and uh, you can do it like that through behind and there's the this plastic piece the one you have that covers the cabin filter it comes off so you can run the wire and then you can just lock it back and you're gonna still have enough space to feed the wire you can also run the cable all the way in between here as you already have everything out and you can run it to this uh, to the armrest and you can just make this hole there's a for some reason there's already a hole there and you can make it bigger and uh, that's pretty much it uh, so this was a video for GTA car kits on how to install our kit into 2006 Lexus IS. I uh, hope you liked the video. We'll see you next time.